Hi, I'm Jim McLean. I'm speaking to you from Trump National Doral in Miami, Florida. I'm in my superstation, do a lot of teaching in here. I use the TrackMan inside and outside, so that's a big advantage. But right now I'm speaking to you from inside. I'm going to talk to you about a very common mistake that I see from our students that travel here for golf schools or for private instruction. And that is when they drive the ball, they're losing a tremendous amount of distance. The ball's popping up in the air. They're hitting kind of real high sky balls and they really don't know how to fix it. And that shot gets in there a lot. And what that looks like is moving ahead of the golf ball. They get steep on the driver. It hits high on the club face. This causes a lot of spin to develop and of course a tremendous loss of distance. So I'll demonstrate that shot for you right now and then we'll throw the numbers up so you can see them. Okay, so then now when I look up on the track man, I see these numbers appear. Oftentimes the swing direction is to the left, but you can see here that the ball went actually relatively straight. That's because I hit so much down on that golf ball, five and a half down, and my swing direction was eight to the left. And without getting too complicated, the carry is really short, even though I swung at it reasonably fast. Uh, 152 yards of carry, so that's terrible. The spin rate is off the charts high, over 6,000 on the spin rate. So now I've got to do some teaching. I've got to use the TrackMan now to teach them a new type of swing. And one of them will be to get the angle of attack positive and the swing direction positive. Now that's going to take a little bit of work, but the TrackMan allows me to do this. And it can do it with any level of student. So generally this would be a higher handicap player. So I just have to explain to them a few things. Now here's how I do that. I'll take the golf ball and tee it up here. Um, first of all would be a little bit with their setup. And that would be getting their angle and their shoulders, the uh, front shoulder higher than the back shoulder, so I put some more angle in there. I'll put a little more weight back toward their back leg, and I'll drop the back foot off the target line. So now I've given them a, a lot of opportunity to hit from the inside, and I've given them the idea of the angle of the shoulders kind of matching the angle of attack that I want them to try to achieve. One of the things that can go wrong with trying to teach a person to hit a little more up on it is they do that with their wrists, with an early uh, release of the golf club. So I have to explain to them, we're going to hit from the inside and a little more level or slightly on an ascending blow, but with a flat leading wrist. And that's keeping the loft of the club, or we call it the dynamic loft on the track man, at a reasonable amount of loft. So if I'm starting here with nine degrees of loft, when I hit the golf ball I want to be pretty close to that. I don't want to be going up to 16 or 17 degrees of dynamic loft, which a lot of people do. So that's that's how I would go about doing this. And the way I, I do it is with TrackMan, I'll gradually get those numbers to get better. I'll exaggerate some things if I have to. I'll put the ball a little bit more forward. Uh, I'll try to get those numbers to gradually come down. And by using the TrackMan, you can effectively change a person's golf swing. So I'll do just a, a, an easy example of this. Closing up, turning my shoulders away from the, from the golf ball, behind the golf ball, and then keeping my swing much more from the inside. Uh, and I'll swing at this real easy. Okay, now when I look back up at the monitor here, I look at the TrackMan parameters. I only have four up there, so that's pretty easy for anyone to take in and understand what's happening. So we've taken that swing uh, direction much more in to out. I actually have a positive number up there now, 3.8, and I was very much down and across with that first swing, which would be very typical. My angle of attack now is almost one up, 0.7 positive. So I've got two positive numbers, swing direction and angle of attack. 
That will take a while to do, but this is how TrackMan can help you. We gradually bring the student into a good swing path, a good swing direction, and a positive uh, attack angle. We can also look now at carry distance way further, uh, 60 yards further by changing a, a couple of things. Mostly the angle of attack, center contact, swing direction, and now my spin rate has really dropped down a lot from where it was, half of what it was, down to 3,000. We'd like to do better on some of those numbers, increase the swing speed, etc. but this might be as fast as this person can swing. But one thing we did get done is we definitely changed that swing direction. We definitely changed the uh, angle of attack. So those are big things that lead to the longer carry and the much better spin, spin rate. So those are things that TrackMan can do for you to teach the average golfer to get away from that pop-up, hit the ball down into the center of the club face, and get a golf ball that actually curves right to left and carries a lot further.